So I'm doing a demonstration for a project called Paper Microfluidics, which is an activity that could be done anywhere, and it demonstrates the concepts of capillary wicking for driving fluid flows through a porous media like paper. The way the microfluidics bits works is that we make channels for the fluid flow by taking a piece of paper, which is water loving or hydrophilic, and making parts of it water repellent or hydrophobic. So the way this works is we start with a simple piece of filter paper and we print out our pattern. And then we take a commercial pen, it's like a hydrophobic pen, and you draw you color basically where you don't want the liquid to go. And um, what I'd like to show you is the way that you can create fluidic networks in the structure by folding it up and allowing different colors that start here on the structure to end up coloring this object at the end, which in this case is a crown. So these kinds of paper microfluidics are the ones that we use um, in our paper diagnostics projects um, for fluid samples of patients. So I'm gonna fold this up now. So I'm folding it in half. And fold it again. The way the channels need to form, you really want all the pieces of paper to be opposed tightly to one another. So we're gonna clip them, really high-tech binder clips. Okay. So now I have this structure on one side and a couple of intermediate patterns that should network the fluid to this side. So here in these test tubes, I have just simple different colors of food coloring. And what I'll do is take a pipetter and just apply a different color to each square. This is the green. Now we wait. You can already start to see colors are coming through on the back side of this object. And the interesting thing about this is that if you remember, the red dot was on the bottom corner. But now you can see where it's coming out in the crown, it's coming out on one side. That's because the fluid has been rerouted by the network that we've created with hydrophobic and hydrofluidic surfaces. And the motion of the fluid is driven by capillary wicking, which is a process that's driven by surface tension, which is the way that liquids interact with surfaces and air. So there you have it, three different colors making a crown in paper microfluidics. So in our research, what we like to do is figure out ways to detect multiple different sensors in the urine that give a, a reading into disease state. And so this is called spatial encoding of different analytes. And so this is the same kind of thing that we do for a urine sample. It would be a way to get a signal out of three different colors um, in, 